was that? Oh, those are daffies. That was cool. Why did they make a lot of noise? Isn't that great? They just landed like, what was that? I was thinking, was this old mess of fish? <laughs> You've probably heard the statement, ignorance is bliss. Well, that's a lie. Because ignorance is not bliss. Saying what you don't know won't hurt you. But actually, what you don't know could hurt you because you don't know about it. You don't know how to watch out for it or what the, what the uh, symptoms are. So what we want to know is our whole source of our problems happens to be ignorance. That means not being aware of who we are, how we function, uh, the nature of this world in which we are expressing ourselves at this time. Uh, without that that inner knowledge of our own source who is with us and uh, how we create and you know in the Vedas because I lived in India for quite a while and studied the great uh, knowledge uh, because the word Veda means knowledge so anything that was absolute truth in a sense that you could trust that could apply for anybody and everybody regardless of where it came from you would call it a, a knowledge or a Veda and it was really in, in there was sharing that um, you need to know two things, what works and what doesn't work. So like if you, you know, when they, when say you order anything like a vacuum or you order something for your computer or whatever it may be, it also tells you on there what not to do. Like if you've got an electric plug, you know, you're not standing in water when you put the plug in and you don't dry your hair in the bathtub, you know, with a hair dryer, all these kind of things. And, and it, you need to know that. So a lot of people, when they think, well, well, I don't know about it, it won't hurt me. We need to know about everything, all that is. And we have that capability and that source is with us that is far greater than any online encyclopedia, anything in the world, because what, who, and what is with us, our source, has all universal knowledge and all cosmic and, and then beyond spiritual knowledge, right where you are and who you are. So yes, the right use of our own lives is to seek knowledge of what works and what doesn't, who we are and, and what we are and what we're not. So get to work because this is your life to live as you choose and nobody can make those choices and decisions for you but you because whatever choices and decisions you make affect you you see so that's why you must do your own work